Ellen Terry is immortalised in paintings, poetry and photographs. Adored for her beauty and charm by her many fans who included the writer Oscar Wilde and the pre-Raphaelite painter Edward Byrne Jones, she was also an actress, theatre manager and public speaker. Ellen Terry was born in Coventry in 1847. Along with her brothers and sisters, she toured with her parents in their travelling theatre company. One of her earliest memories was performing Shakespeare on a London West End stage when she was just nine years old. This completely sealed her fate. She'd go on to become one of the most famous actresses of her time. But let's see how her career and her personal life would take many unconventional twists. When Ellen Terry was just 16, she married the 47-year-old symbolist painter George Frederick Watts, exchanging her on-stage career to become his muse. Watts introduced her to a new artistic circle which included the writer Lewis Carroll, famous for Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, as well as pre-Raphaelite painters, and the photographer Julia Margaret Cameron, who would go on to capture some of her best-known portraits. Her wedding dress was even designed by the pre-Raphaelite artist Holman Hunt. The marriage was probably always doomed for failure and within 10 months it was over. She then went on to elope with the architect Edward Godwin and they had two children, but their relationship was considered scandalous. While it did estrange her from her family, it drew her closer into this artistic circle. Later, she returned to the stage, performing with one of London's most powerful theatre directors, Henry Irving, here at the Lyceum Theatre. Having produced and appeared in a number of George Bernard Shaw's productions, they started what he described as a paper courtship, and he'd go on to exchange loving letters to Ellen Terry for over 30 years. In 1889, Ellen Terry arrived here at number 31 Tite Street in London at John Singer Sargent's studio. He was about to paint her, posing as Lady Macbeth, the part that she was playing at the Lyceum Theatre. Just across the street lived her long-term friend and admirer, Oscar Wilde. He once wrote in a fan letter to her, No actress has ever affected me as you have. When Oscar Wilde saw her from his window, he was so entranced by her arrival in a carriage wearing the full costume of Lady Macbeth he declared Tite Street would never be as any other London street. It would always be a street full of wonderful possibilities. When the finished painting was first unveiled, her fans flocked to see it, and today, it's still one of the most popular paintings on display at Tate Britain. At the age of 64 and nearing the end of her acting career, she toured for 10 years across Britain, America, Australia, and New Zealand, lecturing on Shakespeare's heroines. Ellen Terry's long and successful career at a time when many Victorian women were expected to play a very compliant role establishes her as a very powerful woman and more than a muse. <laughs>